so let's start your snap interview for rcc as you have interview in barc on 9th june 2023 yes please go ahead yes Yes, please introduce yourself. My name is Tirumalesh and I am from a village in Karnul district, Andhra Pradesh. And I completed my graduation in 2022 from Sri Venkateshwara University College of Engineering, Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh. And I qualified for BRC interview through my gate score 2023. Okay, and your this interview date is uh, 9th June, is it? Yes, right? yes. yes. So what do you prepare today? Sir, I just prepared reinforced concrete, a whole, whole RCC. Can you tell me what is the difference between RCC and PCC? It's basically, concrete is weak in tension, sir. So to accumulate tension, sir, to accommodate tension, to increase the tension strength of the concrete, we reinforce concrete with some material which is high in tension, like bamboos and steel, etc. If, uh, if we increase, if if we use this reinforced bar in, in a particular uh, means, if you use minimum percentage of steel or minimum percentage of bamboo, then we can call it as reinforced concrete, sir. Otherwise, it is... Okay. Now so, give me answer according to this minimum problem. reinforcement. Is How will you define this minimum reinforcement? Yes. This minimum reinforcement is based on for different structures, for different components, it is different. For example, if it is a beam, we expected we design a beam for design load. We but this design load at sometimes may our load may exceed the design load. So to accumulate that, we can provide some minimum reinforcement. For beam, it is different. For column, it is different. So for different components, we'll have different minimum reinforcements. Okay. And what is the purpose of providing the minimum reinforcement? It's like to prevent shrinkages. Accidental tensile stresses will occur in concrete members. So to accommodate that, we will introduce these minimum reinforcements. Okay. So in design, uh, Trimulesh, uh, we are having one assumption. Entire tension is being taken care of by the steel and entire compression is being taken care of by the concrete. Right? Yes. How will you ensure concrete is not taking any kind of tension? So this is basically we are assuming that it is not taking i mean we are assuming and we are making our results in conservative side that's why we are assuming this like uh, whole tension is taken by steel itself in general concrete will also have some tension strengths but we assume but to make our results conservative we assume that whole tension is taken by the steel itself how you come to know concrete is not taking any kind of tension now at that situation. I don't know, sir. Okay, Prithi. When you have your interview? Okay. Can you tell me the code for the PCC work? Oh, you do. No, sir. I didn't remember, sir. And give your answer on the okay. page. So, Can you tell me what is the written on the first page of this IS code? It's like Indian standard means the basic guideline for the design of concrete structures. The IS code. Yes. Indian standard code for design of reinforced concrete structures. How many times do you see this code? So many times. But I didn't check the first page. You are not able to tell me what is written like. Okay. So how will you define concrete? Concrete is a concrete is a mixture of cement fine aggregate, coke aggregate, water, and in some, in some times we also add admixtures. Okay, wrong answer, say, can you have a negative? 
Yeah. How will you define the ring shape? Anything except concrete what? Anything except cement, water, fine aggregate, and coarse aggregate. Which, if we add in to make preparation of concrete, then we can term it as admixtures. These admixtures generally enhance the property of concretes. Okay. So, on the best are admixtures are, are affecting the strength of concrete? What do you think? Okay, now you raise. It will affect. Can you give any example? Uh, it's like uh, CaCl2 cell. It's accelerate. It will affect the strength of concrete cell. No. CaCl2. What is CaCl2? Sir, it is a fastener cell. It will increase. It will. It will helps in rapid hardening of cements. Initial strength will be high, sir. When we use CaCl. The ultimate strength is same, na? Sir, yes, sir. Ultimate strength may be same, sir. Maybe it will just. A small proper it affects in small range, sir. But initial strength we will mind, sir. Ultimate strength almost it will become same. Basically, to add the accelerator in the concrete yes. is to uh, is, uh, decrease the setting time. To enhance the setting process, there's yes. no effect on the strength property at all. But you are saying there will be some uh, variation in the strength by addition of this uh, CaCl calcium chloride. What do you think? Initial strength will increase, sir. I mean, during 28 days strength, it will increase, sir. But ultimate strength may remains constant. Do you know, at 28 days strength, we are just taking it as this maximum strength. That is 99% strength we are taking. The concrete is achieving. After That's why we are just testing the cube after 28 days now. And ninety-nine percent, sir. We are taking. We are assuming it. Yes, Suppose sir. we make a complete cube. Yes, sir. At the age of twenty-eight days, or after twenty-eight days, it is achieving its almost full strength. So I'm saying, let it be ninety-nine uh, percent. Let it be. Yes, sir. That's why we are testing the cube after twenty-eight days. Now, if this is not the ultimate strength, then let's wait for the few uh, more uh, weeks, months. Yes, sir. After 28 days, the gain in strength is not that much rapid, sir. It is very slow. So we have to wait for so many years in order to increase a very small proportion of strength. That's why we are taking maybe as 28 days. You are saying at the 28 days, the strength is increases. Yes, sir. Beyond 28 days, if you if if hydration process still continues, then it will occur, it, strength will gain, sir. Okay. Have you heard this uh, air and training admixtures? Yes, a little bit, sir. What is the role of uh, those admixtures? Sir, what is the role of admixtures, sir? Air and training Ad admixtures. Air and training admixtures, it's like it will increase almost all properties, uh, almost all desirable properties, except it will decrease the strength, sir. Except all the desirable properties, it will increase. Like it will increase workability, it will decrease permeability, like all these. Okay. How it is uh, decreasing the strength? Sir, due to presence of uh, minute air gaps in it, it will, it is decreasing the strength. Sir. This is the only admixture which is which is affecting the strength. Air and training admixture. Intentionally, we are introducing the voids in the section. Yes. Voids are there whenever load is coming. What will happen? Yes. Section failure will be earlier. Yes, sir. strength will decrease. That is, they are not uh, much affecting the strength. So we are just taking. We are just taking. They are just doing their work. Like accelerator, they are reducing the setting time or they are increasing the setting process. Yes. Okay. Now suppose someone having this uh, higher rate of hydration. Yes, sir. It will gain the strength at the faster rate, na? But the strength yes. that we are taking at 28 days, that will be same. Yes. Generally. Okay. I am not saying uh, this. Uh, you totally uh, wrong. What you said. I am saying generally what we are taking. Accelerator or uh, these retarders, they are generally improving the property like workability at all. But when yes. we talk about the admixture, especially air and training admixture, it is affecting the strength. If someone is asking you, can you tell any example uh, where these admixtures are affecting the strength? So you can go with this one. Okay. Okay. Air and training admixture.
can you tell me what is the minimum grade of concrete for this uh, underwater construction work no idea no idea the minimum grade of concrete for the rcc work construction sir for rcc minimum grade of concrete concrete is m20 sir m20 okay so what is this uh, meaning of uh, 20 sir it is the characteristic strength of a cube sir of size 150 151 So, characteristic strength of a cube of size 150 by 150 by 150. At what time? At 28 days. 28 days. What you are taking in design? Sir, we design we take 0 0.67 FCK sir, because structural strength of con structural concrete strength is 0 0.67 FCK. Sir. Okay, so suppose if we have to design the flexor member, then what will be the design stress for the concrete? The design stress is generally 0 0.67 FCK, sir. But if you apply some factor of safety like 1.5, then it will come to 0 0.45 FCK. Where it is written this design strength is 0 0.67 FCK? Huh? I'm saying like uh, maximum we load up to 0 0.67 FCK, sir. But generally, that design is, yes, where you said it, and design strength is like fifty percent target mean strength. You are not getting what I am asking. We have a cube. Yes, yes, sorry. sorry, we have a grade. Let me M twenty that yes. you said one grade of concrete for the RCC work. My question was, what is twenty? That you said this is the characteristic compressive strength of the concrete cube after twenty days. Yes, sir. Is it okay? And this is in Newton per mm square. Yes, sir. Now, my question is that what is the design strength of concrete for the same grid? Same example. If you talk about a flexible member. Yes, sir. Design strength is 0 0.67 FCK. So that's why I was asking. I just want to know. Have you seen this thing written uh, anywhere in the books? Uh, design strength of concrete for flexible member is 0 0.67 FCK. No, sir. Flexible, uh, for structural concrete, we will consider it as 0 0.67 FCK. Have you ever seen the code IS456? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't have code right now. Otherwise, I can show it to you. Okay. Okay. Design is 0 0.45 FCK for the flexible member. What we are doing? First, we cast a cube. Na? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what will be the compressive strength of the cube? Sir, compressive strength. Hmm. The maximum. How? Very good. Very good. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. It is the maximum stress up to where the material will fail. It is the compressive strength of the cubes. Okay. And what type of load you applied on the cube? It is uniaxial compression. Uniaxial right. Yeah. Now, what do you think? Practical size of member will be this 150 by 150 by 150 no. mm? No, sir. Loading will be uniaxial compression? No, sir. The shape will be cube? No, sir. So, what we are taking? If in the lab itself also, we are just making a sample which is not a cube, Loading is anything else, not yes. of this unique compression, might be transverse loading as in case of beam. Yes. So what is the stress that this can take? What is the maximum load that the specimen can take on the behalf of that? We are defining the strength. This is 0 0.67 FCK. Yes, sir. Or in short, code directly says just reduce the 33% strength. Whenever you are just changing the size, we are considering the slenderness ratio, you are just changing the this, uh, load that is not unique axial compression, it might be anything else. 33% strength goes down, but practically when we are designing in design, everywhere in design, two things, being a designer, our concern is with two things. First one is the load that is coming to the structure. Second, we are checking what is the strength of that member on which load is coming. Yes. Whether that member can be that amount of load or not. So strength of member, we are always reducing the strength. 
हमेशा ही चाहे वो डब्ल्यू एस एम है वेदर इट इज डब्ल्यू एस एम और वेदर इट इज एल एस एम सो इन एल एस एम बट वी हैव दिस स्ट्रेंथ Okay, can my last question to you? Can you define how uh, what is strength? Strength is defined as the maximum stress that the material can withstand without failures before failure. So, can we define strength with respect to force also? Yes, sir. How? With respect to force, no, sir. Strength is a material property, sir. So we can define with respect to. because our uh, cross sectional area for different for di for the same material with different cross sectional area will have different force i mean force in strength sir. but the stress in strength will become same sir so it is a material strength is a material property so we can define in terms of force okay have you studied the design of sheet structure a little bit sir design of sheet structure so yes. being a civil engineer what will be the this uh, design strength of rivet design strength of rivet in 100 kilo newtons why you are defining it in uh, kilo newton just go with the yes. newton per yes, then we generalize the cross section of rivet so that's why we did like that we can define the strength in term of load also in design of sheet structure what we are doing what is the strength of rivet what is the strength of bolt what is the strength of weld maximum load that your this uh, any member can take just before the failure what is strength sc okay we can define SC. and you can just give us this uh, solid explanation this uh, is 800 we have this uh, force also okay okay then anything else you want to ask um no sir just improve your some basic also yes sir right and you have time okay so prepare accordingly yes okay then all the best keep preparing keep learning thank you sir